Hi, curious cast friends. Here, join me in my little hidey hole here. Um, I'm going to come up with a, a little bit of a video that will give you an introduction into, first of all, the general London accents. And um, then, during the next few weeks, we can work on things that suit how you feel about a character and we can deal with the various accents and there will be quite a few. So um, let's start with talking about the London accents. Um, there's always the perceived pronunciation uh, that one has with uh, more genteel or supposedly the upper class and they will always uh, have a long way of pronouncing a word and you will hear the beginnings and ends of words it's sort of overemphasized for that and then you deal with the local dialects in London um, one is called Cockney basically supposedly all Cockneys were born in the sounds of bow bells and Mary Sadler Bow was the church in the East End of London. Now there's that and then there's the normal sort of East End London accent. Uh, so basically the accents come about by the different delivering and timing of a sentence or a word uh, and then otherwise it, the vowel sounds, the vowel sounds and the way the diphthongs etc in the joining of vowel sounds and consonants get together. That's it sort of in a basic nutshell. Um, I'm now going to come up with a little sort of rhyme and try and show you how with the different levels uh, how it might sound. First of all we'll do what uh, we would say sort of a BBC announcer would come up with this verse and I'm reading it because I haven't memorized it. Okay, fine. Okay. The water in the sewer can never be thought of as pure. For me it has no lure, so few and even fewer doctors find a cure for the water in the sewer. So that's the sort of general accent that can be found in and around London with sort of professional people. Uh, I suppose uh, one of the characters in the script would be talking with something similar to that because he happens to be in the banking business, uh, sort of a bank manager. So that might fit for that. And then we have, we'll go with the Cockney. The Cockney probably would say it like this. The water in the sewer can never be thought as pure. For me it has no lure. So few and even fewer of the doctors find a cure for the water in the sewer. And it can be overemphasized as well. Um, the other general, sort of the East London one, uh, the East Londoner tends to speed things up. It doesn't come over as strong as the Cockney. Could be something like this. The water in the sewer can never be thought of as pure. For, for me it has no lure. So few and even fewer of the doctors find a cure for the water in the sewer. Uh, 
some of the different things that uh, uh, the Cockney always comes out with, THs always seem to be a problem. Um, I've never really discovered why they can't pronounce their THs like this. This for a Cockney comes out as this, this. Uh, and then you have uh, the TH with thanks, which is, oh, thanks, thanks very much, that sort of thing. Uh, but then if you're talking about your father and your mother, it would be, oh, yeah, I've just been with my father and my mother. A V comes in place of the TH. And the R sometimes is shorter. Uh, father, mother, that sort of thing. Um, other things su such as diphthongs, uh, the owl in, in a word like how, is it's sort of. More like ow, if anything. How are you then? Okay, that's a generalisation. And uh, and and then for allow, it would be. Are you going to allow that then? Allow, uh, allow. Are you going to allow that then? Um, other words. Uh, beginning with H, like um, I'm going to my house now. Turns out for a, a Cockney and some Londoners, I'm going to my house now. So the H drops off and it just really becomes house. So not house, but house. Um, help becomes, oh, God help me. Help. Certain words like that. So you, in the script, you can pick up on words such like that. You'll have to remember if you're doing a Londoner or a Cockney, then if you see an H, drop the H and just go with the next vowel. Okay? Uh, what's another one? Oh, yes. Hero. Oh, yes. He was a hero to me. Oh, yes. He was an hero to me. So the Cockney dropped the H again. Hero. So that's about it for now. Um, I'll follow up in the near future with other things like that. Um, I will see you all next Tuesday. I think we're going to get together next Tuesday. Um, and, and so I can listen to how you pr presume you're going to do things and uh, we'll just sharpen them up a bit. That's all. Okay. I hope this works. Uh, it's the first time I've had to do a video like this for many years. Anyway, I hope you get some benefit from it and uh, see you all okay take care bye